Oh, blooper? Blooper. I never make them. <laughs> well, this week in a series on television news, bloopers, our man at large, Dick Flavin, has zeroed in on the blunders of anchor people, of sportscasters, reporters, and politicians. And in this, the concluding segment of bloopers, he does not spare our friends, the weathercasters. Weathermen are famous for their bloopers. We all know the feeling of waking up in the morning only to discover that there are about eight inches of partly cloudy that have to be shoveled out of the driveway. <laughs> but the forecasters of weather can fall victim to more than just errors of judgment. They can be done in by the technological tools of their trade. Why, there are times when something as innocent appearing as a weather board can take on a life of its own. Or to even perish the thought, go completely berserk. I didn't do that, folks. <laughs> we'll see what... <laughs> this will be another tape they'll save for the Christmas party, I'm sure. That's the most accurate forecast he made all year. You never know who'll show up behind a weather board. We're going to be looking at the... Hiya, Jack. clear skies throughout. You never know who'll show up in front of a weather board, either. It's going to be very pleasant, and temperatures will be in the range of about... There's no trouble... Sometimes Don Kent has trouble even using a chair. Occupied by Don Kent. Oh, my goodness. Like Lamont Cranston, better known as the Shadow, Bruce Schwegler has achieved the power to cloud men's minds. Middle part of today showing the... Now you see him, now you don't. Look at this, the Invisible Man. We've been traveling up and down. There are times when reporters are forced to phone in their stories, but nothing will stop them from getting the job done. There are fire trucks out, but no fires are probably what we have a five cents for an additional two minutes. Except for the phone company. Have you got a nickel? Andy. Live remote shots are one of the great technological breakthroughs of the television industry, but they are fraught with danger. Take, for example, this remote shot from Baltimore. It's of a rabbi explaining the meaning of Hanukkah while surrounded by his family. One son is very well behaved. The other? Well, see for yourself. And, uh, we'd like you to explain the significance of Hanukkah, if you would. This begins. Uh, you better tighten up on that shot, boys. Now we see the rabbi, his wife, and one son. Mom, however, is aware that the other kid may strike again at any time. Did you ever see anyone do a double take while using only the eyes and not moving the head at all? Watch Mom. Fight for freedom. And indeed, who do you suppose is the object of her attention? Not only because you guessed it. Is Brace yourselves, folks. Year, He's coming back. But because we have oh, no. Share in the concern for the Oof. Being held in Iran. A nice recovery by the rabbi. Well, at least things can't get any worse. <laughs> or can they? Well, we certainly hope that all those prayers were answered. May, uh... Well, this is Dick Flavin, and the point of this series has been that while those of us in television news love the business, there are times when there's darn little dignity to it. Jack and Liz. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that live shot is one of the most precious things I've ever and seen. And Don was right. We always show them at the parties. <laughs> <laughs> the invisible